Good morning, afternoon or evening to you, depending on which part of the planet you are residing currently. This is AK Gaming and today I am bringing you a video from District 187 Sin Streets. Now, first thing I'm going to show you very briefly, because the game has actually started, I just wanted to give you guys a quick view of a few things of the game. The main problems that I have with it, I'm not going to go over this very long, so don't worry, is you don't have a very big weapon choice. Um, three sniper rifles, two shotguns, and two submachine guns. The rest are assault rifles. One sidearm, three melee weapons, one here has to see, <coughs> excuse me, one here has to see at the top right corner, which is for cash, which is if you're going to put real life money and convert it into the game currency. You separate that from gold, which is so that, you know, only if you use real money can you get this item. Now, the other problem I have, oh, and thrown, smoke grenades. I don't know if they replace frag grenades. I don't plan on finding out. The problem I have is if I want to buy this gun, I can't, I can only rent it. Now, I understand the plus side is that I can rent it for just a day see if I like it or not, but I can never really truly fully own the gun. And that is the same with all the, um, I'd like to say armour, but it's not even armour, costumes. There you go, it's there for me, costumes. And you have different bits for gangster and SWAT. It'd be quite amusing to see a SWAT man running around with a police shirt and trousers with blood on them. That would be fairly amusing, but I don't think you'd be a policeman for very long. Same thing, you can't fully own it, you can only rent it. Second hand clothes, what does the world come to? Now, you only really have four to five options for each of the, for a top, four or five options, trousers, four or five options. So you don't really have a very big <coughs> customization option at all. I mean, you can't even change your skin color or shoes or anything, so that's just kind of bad. You can, however, customize your guns. This is my AK, best gun in the world, and also my favorite, if you somehow hadn't noticed yet. Now, the only great thing about it is when you buy a mod for it, the mod is permanent. You don't have to keep rebuying it. Now, I understand certain guns can have certain mods, some can't, and you can get a decal on it which is quite funky, but with only a choice of five, you're gonna see a lot of people looking the same with the same gun, with the same decal. So, you know, the point I'm trying to make is the game has very little I'm really individuality. Everyone's looking the same, and I really mean that. You're gonna see that soon, that practically everyone you see, especially on the side of the gangster, all seem to look the same. Ooh, that's fun. I mean, the two people I shot, the guy that's dead, the guy over there in the doorway, you all look exactly the same. I'm ready. Every single one of them, exactly the same. Fire in the hole! However, the graphics of the game, for a free game, really have nothing to complain about graphics-wise. The graphics are very nice, for a free game. Of course, if I was paying, to purchase this game so that I could play it, then I would expect much better graphics. But for a free game, I mean, they have the graphics are fairly good. You know, I, have, I haven't found any glitches or you know Soldier Front. This game reminds me of Soldier Front quite a lot. If you've ever played that, though I highly doubt it. Those were back in the nostalgic days for me. Um, it was a very good game. Graphics were not quite I'm as good really as this. And I was playing an old computer, I can't remember what my graphing settings were back in, back then. It was quite a while ago. But, um, you know, there was glitches where people could glitch into walls and stuff like that. And then they would just stand there all day shooting you. And there's nothing you can do to kill them. Apart from helplessly throw grenades at the wall, which, as I'm sure you can imagine, didn't really do a lot. So at the top there, um, you can see the score. If you press tab, you can see your score, how you're doing, kill, death, 
your ping which is basically your connection to the game or whatever you want to call it. It all ends here. Now I've noticed the gangsters say some really, really ridiculous things sometimes, like I would spawn and they would say, I will show you what's real. Now the only thing, the only logical conclusion that I can come to is that they are ridiculously hard. Changing mag. Now I'm actually doing the right here, and as I say that, ooh, I'm not dead yet. So I'm gonna multi kill him then. And finally, I've been ended. Um, yeah, as I said, the graphics. Fairly good. I, I'm very happy with the graphics. That is the one thing um, the that I am happy with. The way they die is very ragdoll. You know, there have been times where I've been shot in the face. My character has done a triple backflip, and I've kind of giggled because I found it so amusing. I didn't even care that I died. So if you know you're a fan of the very over-exaggerated, mega, go flying when you die. You'll probably like this game. For me, personally, ooh, I'm not a very big fan of the game. Um, I mean, I might leave it on my computer, you know, and play it if I ever get bored of Shogun or Left 4 Dead or anything like that, although I highly doubt it. But, um, you know, it's one of those games where it's not for me, but it might be for you. So by all means, I would, I would suggest, you know, if you've got the time, just download it and just give it a try. Because you do, you never know. I'm in position. I mean, I, I was bug I've been bugging my um, my friend Daniel Fire to hole. play Shogun for months, and he would just continuously refuse, and I eventually got him to play it. And now, every time I'm like, "Hey, Dan, do you want to play Left 4 Dead?" He's like, "No, nah, man, let's play Shogun." And I'm like, I'm "Cool, we'll play I'm Shogun." In position. So, you know, I don't think it's very fair Ready? to knock a game until you've tried it. Unless it's something really oh. stupid like a little flash game or something. But I've never been a big fan of them. So, I don't really think you need to get much more of an overview than that on the shooting. It's all the same. Now, the other problem that I have is this map here. I'm going to create a room just to show you. Alright, if I want to have this map, I don't want to do a team deathmatch though, so I'm going to change it. Oh, no, I can't. Haven, bomb, which is basically like Call of Duty Search and Destroy. Want to change it? Nope, you can't. Not very happy with that. I really hope they change that. In fact, they need to change that. It's not an I hope, they, they have to change that. That's ridiculous. But you can do 1v1 to 8v8 which is quite nice and you can change the type so you can have just a melee, melee match which is quite new then so that's good that's something new something unique that I know if I might be wrong here but you know, I've not seen anything like that before so I guess this game has its pros and has its cons like any other game um, first impressions I would say I wouldn't play it regularly at all. But every now and then, you know, if I feel like shooting a few people and I'm bored of Call of Duty, there's a possibility that I might consider this game. Out of five, I would probably give it a two to a two and a half. Thank you very much for watching. This has been AK Gaming, and I will see you, or well, you will hear me on the next video. Thank you very much.